The Real Weather Watch on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Soybean School. Find us at soybeanschool.com. We're joined right now on realagriculture.com for the Real Weather Watch. Today we're joined by Drew Lerner. Welcome today, Drew. Thanks, John. Okay, Drew. Uh, when we look at the Ontario, uh, we, we see some really ideal plant stands from the majority of uh, what's been planted so far, and planting is almost complete. Uh, seeing lots of pictures where it's you know ideal corn stands, we've had limited uh, need for replanting, but there's already a start, a beginning concern that uh, we need some rain, and uh, to you know this plant is healthy, it's ready, it's it's going to produce yield, it's off to a great start, but uh, it's going to really need some moisture. What are you seeing in terms of your outlook here as we head into summer? Well, I think for for most of Ontario's crop country, we're probably going to see a, a relatively favorable environment. Uh, but I think that we will be on the dry side of normal, uh, seeing a little less frequent precipitation across the region relative to what we would see in a typical summer. That should not be interpreted as a drought pattern, though. Uh, we will uh, have the airflow coming out of the northwest fairly often during the course of the summer, and that will bring some cooler air down across the region periodically. So we'll be a little on the dry side. We'll also have a little bit of a cooler bias at times, and the two will combine and we'll probably be able to conserve soil moisture at the times that are most important, and we'll probably end up doing relatively well. Uh, But there will be a drier bias uh, for the region over the course of the summer. I don't think that that's necessarily going to immediately uh, create an environment that is threatening to the production of uh, our various crops across the region. But it's something we'll be watching relatively closely for a while. There should be a ridge of high pressure in the middle of the United States, and uh, it will likely uh, not extend too far north of the border into Canada, but as it does occasionally, there will be a tendency for the warm air to bubble up into the uh, western parts of Ontario and maybe parts of Manitoba, and pushing cooler air southward from the Hudson Bay area uh, into uh, southeastern portions of Ontario and Quebec, and uh, so we'll end up with some cooler shots of air periodically. But that northwesterly flow tends to also be a little bit on the dry side because we don't bring moisture in from the Atlantic or the Gulf of Mexico, and so we do end up with that drier bias. But like I said, we'll have some cooler temperatures periodically, and so I think that will help to conserve the moisture at the times that we need it most. But again, we'll watch real closely because there will be a little bit less rain than usual. Yeah, in terms of, you know, one of the important things is we get that rain at the right time when we need it. Um, the, for the moisture that we are going to get, can we or can we expect that uh, most of that uh, moisture coming in July, August, or June, or kind of how do you see it, or is it just kind of an even spread across all three provinces or all three uh, uh, months? I think there is a fairly good chance that we're going to be uh, relatively well distributed over the three month period. Uh, but I think there will also be a period of time there where we may run into a stretch of two to uh, at least two weeks' worth of relatively dry conditions. Uh, that dry pocket uh, is kind of hard to predict uh, and get very precise about, uh, but I would think that uh, probably in late July, early August would be the time period that that is most likely to evolve, uh, and it, it could actually extend beyond a two-week period but uh, I don't want to make it sound like, oh, you know, oh, gosh, you know, three or four weeks, that would be a really bad thing. And I'm, I'm not trying to imply that, that would be the case. But I think there will be a period of a little longer dryness that will occur in the, the right smack in the middle of the summer uh, that will raise some concerns, but not necessarily come to fruition as far as hurting the production potential for the region.